research shows that many deaf and hard of hearing children acquire language at a later age than normal. 98% of hearing parents with deaf or hard of hearing children don't know what to do as they raise their children. By the time these deaf and hard of hearing children start school, they're already behind and work to catch up with their peers, especially with language and communication. These issues are not impossible to overcome, but it does create unique challenges in deaf education. The deaf community faces higher rates of unemployment when compared with the national market. The reason for the high unemployment rates has more to do with communication issues. It doesn't relate to their ability to do their jobs. Here at DARS, we match job opportunities to people with disabilities. Employers are often hesitant to bring in a deaf person because of misconceptions or myths about communication. There are plenty of technologies, opportunities, and services available that make it possible for employers and the deaf person to communicate directly with each other and much more efficiently. Project Endeavor offered a wide variety of subsidized equipment. These devices offered a greater broadband experience and allowed for greater mobility by connecting people wirelessly. The wide array of equipment we distributed were a great fit and a new experience for the people we served. BTOP's support allowed us to distribute phones that connect to Sprint CapTel to hard of hearing and late deafened people. The purpose of Sprint CapTel is to serve those who can't sign. It allows them to read captions while on the phone, giving them access to communication and independent life. Professional employment for deaf individuals in a contact center provides a valuable service not available anywhere else. CSD created a unique and meaningful work experience in an accessible environment. Our employees supporting Project Endeavor developed essential skills that will create additional opportunities in the future. The digital economy provides a global platform in which people can devise strategies, communicate, and search for information. The devices we distribute are helping the deaf and hard of hearing community participate more effectively in the new digital economy. The internet has been an important equalizer for the deaf. Deaf people are able to more fully participate in the world around them through more complete access to communication, information and services. Broadband access allows those in our community to contribute at a level far beyond anything available in the past.
Our department's been using video interpreting since earlier this year and it's proven invaluable to us. We're able to quickly, uh, within minutes many times, get an interpreter, a live interpreter, whereas previously we had to wait several hours or up to a day. And this has really helped us communicate more effectively with our community. VRI is a wonderful solution for situations where interpreters cannot show up immediately or for remote areas where there are less interpreters available to the community. But a live, on-site interpreter is still the best solution in providing community access. How can we make sure we are effectively providing access to the network of community interpreters across the United States? Technology has helped my business to succeed. I rely heavily on broadband. I communicate with people all over the world, and if it wasn't for broadband access, I'm not sure I would be able to have my company. I'm fortunate to be a part of a new generation of deaf and hard of hearing people. I've had access to opportunities that my deaf parents didn't have access to back then. The options I have for my future are limitless, and I have the power to choose what I want to do with my life. Through BTOP, CSD has increased access and participation in the digital economy. We are now actually creating a new kind of digital economy by discovering and deploying new service delivery models for the deaf and hard of hearing community. This is possible thanks to broadband access and the many programs supported by BTOP.